Did you now, I, the conversation we was just having, you don't seem to be a fan, MGK, of the spotlight. Nah, man. But you have decided in your personal life to bring your personal <laughs> life to the spotlight. You know, I, you know, oh, I didn't know I, I had to say it. <laughs> and look, I'm happy right. for you. We love Amber Rose around here. Mm. I'm, you know, I do mm. have my reservations about, you know, um, just... You know, both, I, both of y'all in in your reservations of being in the spotlight and her, you know, coming off of what she's coming off of. I just hope that you guys, you know, are allowing each other to breathe and yeah, you know, things. Yeah, it's an are, interesting you know. situation. I I'll, I'll say it like this: I um, everything was completely natural. Um, wasn't anything that I had expected or had planned or anything like that. You know, when the universe throws something your way or, the, you know, things happen, you I'm, I'm one of those people that goes with it and I don't fight it. Um, and I had no idea what came with that. And just, I mean, that I, I'd, I'd be alive if I didn't say that it's not like a struggle every day coping with that fact that it is like one of the most like anti spotlight people ever. And one of the most in the spotlight people right. ever, and that's hard, B. It's a, uh, you know, along with the fact that that that'll come with it from people unknowing of the situation, which I accept, and I don't, you know, I don't blame anybody for. It's just because you know you, ignorance is bliss. So if you don't know the situation, right. it's like you know, but it is the the. Yeah, the, the, it's I mean, unexpected. The, 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 yeah, and it's like one of those things where it's like it makes you rethink this whole fame thing again. And uh, you know, we had had a conversation. I was on set of the movie I'm out here filming right now, and uh, I was on set and I saw this guy in a waffle truck, and we were at a waffle truck, and he was so happy, right? He was working in this waffle truck, and I mean, everyone, he was, you know, black dude, dreads, like, looked super cool, right? Didn't, you know, look, you know, in, in our generation, if you look cool, feel cool, like, you're too cool. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got to be polite. I don't do any, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, any of that. But, like, this dude was, like. Showing love. Sh just, what, like, you know, any per to any single person that came up to Waffle I sat there on a bench and watched this man for 20 minutes. I was that, like. Mesmerized in, like, by him, Mesmerized yeah. by not him, but more just like the fact that that was that was who I was when I was coming up. You know, like I was like, damn, dude. Like I used to be, I used to be working in the restaurants just like that. Like, not all the time. I had a big attitude, but you know, like <laughs> yeah. because I wanted because I wanted this. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But it was just so cool because like I I wish I knew that man's girl, so I could call her and be like. And I told her this. I told her that I was you know because we were both just looking and her is Amber. Amber. Her is Amber. Uh, you know, her being from South Philly, me being from the east side of Cleveland, I'm looking and I'm like, this fame is whack, right? Like, yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. It, 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 like, everything is jeopardized. I'm a very, like, role with no security, like, role anywhere I want. Yeah, I was, yeah. I, you know, I was in Red Hood Project. Oh, I saw that. Two, two days ago <laughs> by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and I'm one of those type of people and, it makes it difficult with stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, to to maintain that type of lifestyle. And like when that's when that's in the line, you're yeah. like, like what, like what's happening? You know what I'm now saying? You're, so you're a little you bit jittery. You're on notice a little bit more because you're in the spotlight. So, you know, I'm looking at this dude. I'm, I, I wish I had this girl's number, like or this dude's girl's number, so I could call and like tell her how proud she should be of him. You know what I'm saying? Because she's probably the, she's probably looking on Instagram at people like us. And it's like, I wish I had something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want this, man. Like, you don't want this. And there's very few people like me in this industry anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, it's a whole bunch of fake swag and a lot of stuff that you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't want none of this, man. Like, you, like this dude right here who's working his ass off, being nice to all types of people that will probably shrug him off on the street, but they just want to, you know what I'm saying? They, they just want some food from the man. So, like, you know, he... That is, like, the people that I wish we could big up and, like, you know, talk about the inspirations of the day. But instead, you know, because of popular culture and the fact that I'm, we're all guilty of it, you know what I'm saying, we we respect these people who entertain us well. I think a lot of that, too, is um, extraordinary talent. 
you know, or extraordinary beauty or extraordinary. Yeah, that's actually, you know, I, actually, I, I take I take that my comment. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what it is. Like we're 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 very fo- like we're very focused right. on an extraordinary craft. Craft. Mm-hmm. LeBron James is extraordinary, mm-hmm. and it just so happens that music, sports, and all that is that craft. Whereas right. like something like that is what I'm saying is you know. And but while that should be celebrated for being extraordinary because it is a guy working a waffle truck with a positive attitude trying to make everybody have make sure everybody has a great day with their waffle. Yeah, like that's an important <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because if have you a have a bad experience, <laughs> yo, you ever had a bad experience with a waffle? No, it's fucked up. Yeah, it is. It's yeah, it, it ruins a lot. Like but waffles hold a big stature and breakfast. That's right, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So they are when you, very you, they yeah. go in a very important role. If the person waffle it, and it could ruin your day, breakfast, the meal of breakfast there's forever. There's layers. So. Think about it. There's layers. There's the person giving you the waffle. Right. They could fuck up your waffle. And this guy was good. There's the person <laughs> making yeah, your waffle. Checked. And that guy was good. Now let me throw a whammy <laughs> at you. Let's say the person making the waffle and bringing you the waffle both fuck up. But they were both good. That's what I'm saying. Extraordinary. 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 There's levels to these waffles. It's level. Now, Marissa, you had a question, though, about Yeah, because you were saying before, you, you've turned on a lot of things because of what the fans will think, and I think this is the exact, like, thing of what they might be bothered by. And I've seen comments, and they've fought amongst each other, and oh, oh, oh. some some of them are not very happy seeing that you're selling out by having a high-profile relationship. So uh, have you? I, I mean, well, the action of selling out is doing something that you don't believe in mm-hmm. because of, because of, money, money, or because of fame. Or you know, like I don't need to be more famous. I don't like being famous anyway, and I already get recognized way more than anyone would ever expect me to get recognized. You know what I'm saying? Like, Can I speak on your behalf briefly, please? Um, however, he does need, and all men do, something as amazing as amazing as an Amber Rose. I mean, who there's no want selling that? out in that. <laughs> if the universe delivers any man walking the earth an amber rose, you better do everything in your power <laughs> to keep it close, my G. <laughs> so if your fans, yo, MGK fans, I've been to war with a bunch of fans before. I'm not afraid of y'all neither. Well, these aren't, they're not like a negative. They're not going to come I don't, with well, I don't know them like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. If y'all give him a hard time about Amber Rose, we coming for you, fam. <laughs> this is a moment in this young man's life that he needs to remember. And however this thing turns out, it's amazing. <laughs> God damn it. He did that. He's living the motherfucking dream. <laughs>